all of our time for, but not quite because it's time for our audience to brave the dreaded red chair as we play That's All We've Got Time For. Here it is. Okay, so uh, this is how it works, right? The rules are simple. Someone sits in the chair, someone sits in the chair and tells us uh, an anecdote that they enjoy telling, they think might interest or entertain us. And if they start to bore us, uh, we pull this lever. And, well, you'll see what happens. <laughs> OK, so, uh, first up, please. Hi there. Hi, Graham. Uh, hello. Hi. Uh, what's your name? My name's Ruin. Ruin? Yes. OK, Ruin, take it away. Well, I was on a holiday to uh, Israel where I uh, got on a bus trip to go visit some family. And uh, about after four hours, I uh, asked the bus driver to... <laughs> The story needs to get going faster. Uh, who have we got next? Hi. Hello. Hi. What's your name? Uh, Rachel. Rachel. Lovely. And what do you do? Uh, I'm a dancer. Are you indeed? Yeah. Good. Well, you'll be good at the backflip. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> what? Uh, start your story. Off you go. Uh, well, my boyfriend's called, well, his nickname's Dickie Danger. And we went to a real <laughs> cool charity event. And uh, he had to auction off some vegetables. And in the end, the, ru the money was rubbish. So they decided to ask him to, like, to offer him money to take his clothes off. In the end, he was ended up with his socks and a cucumber where his man garden was. Hello, Tracy. <laughs> Off you go. <laughs> tell it. Tell it. <laughs> <laughs> Delight us with your story, Tracy. Right. So one day I was running very late. I didn't have time to put my underwear on. Oh. So I had to dash off to catch. <laughs> One more, one more, one more, one more, one more, one more. Okay. Rock and roll, lads! <laughs> uh, now, listen, uh, you can relax for a moment because it's uh, time to hear some more scintillating stories in That's All We've Got Time For. Uh, now... Okay, this is how it works. Uh, it's a sort of chat idol. That's right. the idea. People get on the red chair, they tell us their most interesting anecdote. If they should bore us at all, uh, I have this lever to remove them from said oh, chair. Great. <laughs> it is good, honestly. Can I get one of those for real life? Everyone should have one of these. <laughs> we'll get you that. What else am I giving you? I've given you the gift of a your complex. Uh, yeah, I've given you a complex. <laughs> and a song. Yeah. Uh, uh, and a packet of cigarettes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you don't smoke. You don't, she doesn't <laughs> smoke. She doesn't smoke. Okay. Uh, <laughs> who's up first? Hi, Graham. I'm David. Yes. Oh, I was on the tube uh, a couple of months ago. Uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? Have you learned anything? Grab them. Grab the audience. I was on the tube two it's months ago. <laughs> two months ago. <laughs> to start with, when I last killed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. People will learn how to do this. Yeah. They will learn how to do this. Uh, who's up next? Oh, hello. Hello. Hi. I'm Helen. <laughs> 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 it's nothing to be that proud of. Uh, who's next? Who, who's next? Oh, I can't tip you. <laughs> does, somebody, does anyone else want to go and sit in the chair? Do you, do you mind? The proxy tipping. Will you be tipped? Yes, all right. Where, how, where is the chair? Where do we'll I go? Follow, follow. Oh, quick, oh, quick, 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 quick. Okay. okay. You're all, what's your name? Yvonne. Yvonne, I'm saving you from. Well, actually, I'm saving us from a lawsuit. Yeah. <laughs> But I'm pretending to care. Uh, oh, no, that's right. You, you stand up. You stand up, and Robert will be in the chair. For Robert's sake. OK. Oh, hello. You sit in think... the chair. OK. OK. Right. There you go. Don't sit on his lap now. <laughs> All, right. All right. Tell us your story, Yvonne. Well, I wanted another job to make ends meet, so I thought I'll go for a part-time job. So I went to a saleswoman. <laughs> And we got trained to. <laughs> to <laughs> 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 right, before we say goodnight, it's time to hear some more uh, riveting stories. 
uh, as we play That's All We've Got Time For. And uh, thank you very much, by the way, to everyone who's been uh, writing in to ask us to take part. It's a sort of gong show for chat. Uh, you tell us your most interesting anecdote, and uh, if we get bored, then uh, I pull this lever. Do you see? You follow this? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's nearly over. This is the, this is the last bit. So I'm bloody <laughs> cold, I know that. Are you cold? It's frozen. Get is fat! It, is, is anyone else it is uh, cold, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, eat something. Yeah, just eat. Uh, now, uh, I'm boiling. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, I don't know if you saw last week. Last week I was complaining. I was complaining because uh, people weren't starting your anecdotes properly. You've got to grab the attention immediately. Oh, yes. Right? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, who's up first? Hello. Hello. Hi. What's your name? Fern. Fern? Yes. Hi, Fern. Hi there. Fern, off you go. Right, went to the Universal Studios in America. Excellent opening. And had a fabulous time there, but I said to a friend of mine, look, my feet are killing me, I've got to go and sit somewhere. She said, look, go and find somewhere, we'll go on a trip. I said, right. So I went down this side street and I got to sit down. Suddenly, I see this incredible green man coming towards me with these green funny pants on and a big bulge at the front. <laughs> and when I studied him, I thought, oh my God, it's the Incredible Hulk. God, I couldn't believe it. He was pretty ugly with a big nose and funny hair. But, you know, it was an incredible experience and it was the best thing I've ever done in my life. How's that? <laughs> Okay, now, the thing is, stories must begin well, also end well. <laughs> I, you all right there, love? Just, yeah. Don't pull it. one off. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, okay, uh, next, who's up next? Who's up next? Who's up next? Hello. Hello. <laughs> it is so tempting. No. <laughs> no. What's your name, sir? I'm Frederick. Frederick? Okay. Are you a real person? <laughs> Okay, uh, so, uh, so we want a big start, big finish. Off you go, Frederick. I was trapped in a live Truman show. <laughs> yes, this spring I was studying in China and at the university. Uh, one day they had a meeting and told us uh, we are going to make a documentary about the students and students' life and such things. So, and uh, me and my friends were like, oh, cool. You're going to have a memory about a movie about uh, our days in China. This is really awesome. And. <laughs> Sweet though, sweet. Well, sweet. Yeah, he was sweet. <laughs> uh, did you meet him when you were a nurse? No, I dated him. <laughs> Who's up next? Who's up next? Quick, quick, quick. Oh, here she comes. Right. Hello. Hello. Hi. What's your name? Rachel. Rachel. Off you go, Rachel. Right. I am the world's biggest Paul McCartney fan, and when I was 18 years old, I thought it'd be a really good idea to change my surname to McCartney by deep. <laughs> Before we say goodnight, let's hear some more uh, riveting stories as we play That's All We've Got Time For. <laughs> now, uh, the drill is this. Uh, people come into the chair, they tell us the most riveting anecdote, and if we get bored, we pull this lever. If you want to, you're there. Feel free at any moment <laughs> to pull it. <laughs> uh, right. So, uh, who, who's in the chair first? Who have we got? So oh, hello. <laughs> it's a tough crowd, love. <laughs> Good luck. Uh, what's your name? Zoe. 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 Oh, oh, oh sorry, I just dropped. No, Michael, no problem. Uh, Michael Bublé's album. <laughs> <laughs> Zoe. Zoe. So the idea of the story is, is grab our attention, and then an, a nice big finish. All right. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So my in-laws have come to see your show tonight, so I had to book them somewhere to stay. So I found a B and B around the corner of where I live, um, but sorry. you can only. <laughs> I want this for oh, my house. We intend to sell these at Christmas. No, she'd use the phrase in-laws and bed and breakfast. <laughs> no good story contains those things. Uh, uh, who's, <laughs> who's in the chair next? Hello, I'm Jenny. Sorry? Jenny. Jenny. Off you go, Jenny. Okay, I got attacked by a cheetah. Oh, excellent! <laughs> Did you hear that? She got attacked by a cheetah. <laughs> a cheetah. Let's That's see. a good story. Isabella Rossellini is very interested. Is that the end of the story? Oh, no. Okay, I was on my gap year in Africa and I was working on a farm in Namibia 
Can I just say, Jenny, I think maybe we've heard the best bit of this story now. Oh, wait, there's more. So you what, what? I punched it in the face. You punched it in the face? <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> animal lovers. <laughs> but not in that way. <laughs> oh, we've got to have one more, one more, one more, one more. This could be the one. This could be, this could be the story that gets all the way to the end. Mind you, the cheetah lady sort of got to the end she, of her yeah. story. Yeah, 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 she did. It was just quite a short story. Uh, <laughs> Oh, hello. Hi. Wow, you could fly when this chair goes back. Uh, <laughs> have you lost weight or planning to gain it? Is that an Oprah cast off? It's extraordinary. Uh, <laughs> She's just brought the sleeves in. It's clever, oh, isn't it? I've just tucked the sleeves in. I'm still wearing it. You look great. What was your name again? Um, it's Emma. Emma, I never knew that. Hi. Okay, Emma, you look lovely. Thank okay. You. Okay, Emma. Um, uh, yes, yeah, sorry, off you go. Okay, uh, it was a double uh, holiday in the Alps, skiing, with my friends who are in the audience at the moment. And it involved me uh, trying to catch up with the ski team drinking um, unsuccessfully because I ended up passed out, standing up, fell uh, asleep, my head in the sink, naked. Well, she's naked. She used, word, she used a keyword. She used a keyword. Oh, naked. Choir. Um, choir. And my friend put me to bed, that's fine. He went out, uh, pulled a girl, decided he wanted the bed that I was in, so <laughs> got me and threw me out of bed, and in the morning I woke up going, where the hell am I? In a completely different room, please, please, please. different bed. Oh. I think that is really it. Uh, but before we say goodnight, we're just going to hear some more riveting stories as we play. That's all we've got time for. Here we go. So, uh, you know the drill. Basically, you tell us your most interesting anecdote, and if we get bored, we pull this lever. You following this? I got it. Yeah, got okay. It. All right, who's up first? Hi. Hi. Fatima. Hi. What's your name? Fatima. Fatima? Yeah. Okay. Um, I've actually been run over. I'm not really proud of it, but I've been run over five times. <laughs> now, can I just say, Fatima, an excellent opening. By a car? One was by a car, uh, one was by a bicycle, uh, a, a motorcycle. A bus and a sort of. Uh, <laughs> can I ask, was, was it the same person driving each time? Because <laughs> that's attempted murder. <laughs> I think the last one was an energy efficient moped as well. Oh. So, yeah. Jeez. And now a red chair. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I love this. That's great. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I love it in my house. Uh, okay, <laughs> who's up next? Hello. Oh, hello. hello. Hi. 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 I almost want to pull it now. <laughs> but, uh, ooh, for naughty reasons. Uh, <laughs> boom. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's your name, nice lady? Um, my name's Elaine. Elaine? Yeah. I'm loving you, Elaine. Thank All right. Uh, OK, off you go. OK, um, I started a job um, when I was younger for a huge, huge electrical company and I had to do some uh, agendas for a meeting in front of the managing director and all the other directors. And I went off, handed it all out to the directors, sat down in the meeting to take the minutes, looked down at the agenda and realised that the word account, I'd actually missed the O out of the word. <laughs> We nearly saw her account. <laughs> Before we say goodnight, it is that time again. The collapsing chair awaits. So we're listening up, we're listening up. Imagine these people are, are pitching their memoirs. They're pitching yeah, yeah. their memoirs. This I is a, know, a taster a of their fascinating lives. Yeah, yeah. Would we buy the book? Right. <laughs> Who's up first? Hello, Graham. Hello. <gasps> I'm frightened by this man. Mm. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jason. That man. No. Do you seriously know? I know that man. <laughs> Do you know Dawn? I know Dawn French. Oh my gosh! Did you have a list of 47 up. people he kissed? <laughs> Did you work in the Salcombe Hotel? <laughs> that is the Duke of Cornwall. <laughs> it is. I know him as the Duke of Cornwall. But anyway, yes. What story are you going to tell? <laughs> okay, Graham. This story is about the gorgeous Dawn French. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I worked on a show with Dawn three years ago called Smaller with Dawn and Alison Moyer. I was one of the stage managers. <laughs> During 
the first part of the show, Dawn had to take her bra off under her jumper. <laughs> During rehearsals, we had bras made for Miss French. And when they arrived at the rehearsal room, myself and the other stage manager unpacked them and thought, maybe we should try them on just in case. <laughs> and we did, but not in the usual way. We put our heads in each cup. <laughs> Heads twice. Oh, yeah, yeah. Head on each side. Very good. Yeah. So we want, one more, one more. We're hoping for a good one. Go, 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 go. Come on, quick, quick, quick. We've got to go soon. Hello. Hello. Hi. 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 <laughs> uh, what's your name? Alison. Alison. Yeah. Okay. Off you go, Alison. Um, I was in Cork this summer. I was at a Rod Stewart right, concert. Okay. Oh. Uh, oh, we're both in this story. Yeah, right. it's Cork. <laughs> She's in Cork, where I'm from, Cork in Ireland, and you were giving a concert. Oh, it was brilliant. Oh, Great you night. remember Alison? Yeah. Yes. Oh, she's right down the front. Yeah. Were you right down the front? <laughs> I was right down the front. That's what I said. You see? <laughs> <laughs> I, was wearing, I was wearing a um, cowboy hat. Do you remember? Do you remember? Oh, we, like it was yesterday. Yeah, and I threw the cowboy hat on stage, Rod put it on, and he wore it um, for the rest of that concert. He then took it with him, um, and he wore it for every other concert that he did for the rest of that tour. I kept watching it on YouTube everywhere. It went all that's over right. the world. Yeah, that's right. I did. Do yeah. you remember that? Yeah, yeah I you... did. Yeah. yeah. Are you serious? Good cowboy. I look pretty good in it, so I kept it. Thanks, darling. Thank you very much. And Alison, is the point of the story is right? you want it back? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yes, please. Can I, I have it I've back? I've to tell her I've still got it. It's in the wardrobe, you know, tour case, and uh, I'm not giving it back. Oh. <laughs> 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 It is time for some more stories for the collapsing chair. You, the viewers, tell us your most interesting anecdote, and if we get bored, we pull this lever. Can I just say to anyone who's... If you can hear me, if you're about to go in the red chair, quite a tough crowd. Uh, <laughs> quite a couch of judgment right there. <laughs> no, it just, it just looks like we're waiting to board a very kind of heady plane. <laughs> who's up first? Hello. 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 Uh, what's your name? Barbara. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Barbara. OK. Now, uh, so you understand what happens if the story gets boring? Yes, I do. OK, fine. You've signed forms. Yes. OK, fine. <laughs> That's the main thing. Well, well, what's going to happen? You'll see. <laughs> start, start your story, Barbara. I'm sorry. I'm a huge fan of Caesars, and I'm trying to become the Dagnum Dog Whisperer, emulating his procedures. I bought a fold-up bike to run the dog like he did, but he folded up while I was riding it. <laughs> <laughs> Tweet about it. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happened. Oh, right. <laughs> OK. Uh, one more, one more. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. What's your name? Shola. Shola? Yes. OK, Shola. It's a tough crowd. <laughs> Barbara and her collapsing bike didn't do it. <laughs> the challenge is yours. Away you go. Well, when I was younger, my family managed to convince me that I was a member of the English royal family. <laughs> Can we try for one more? Oh, one more. Okay, here we go. Hello. Hi, Graham. Oh, you're not confident about your story, are you? Because look at you, you're you holding onto the handles of that chair like. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm going to be gone in a second. All right, so did I hear your name? It's Vadula. Vadula. You know, I didn't remember that, I, hearing that. Vadula. Okay, Vadula, off you go. So it's a Saturday night, me and my boyfriend at home having a few drinks, bit of a loose end, and he says, let's go to a lap dancing bar. And I'm like, OK, then. <laughs> so we go down to our local lap dancing bar. Have sorry, a sorry, drinks. I have to interrupt you. Do you still go out with this man? <laughs> no, not at all. Yeah, I think yeah. that was wise. <laughs> so anyway, we find two girls we fancy and we get them to do a private dance. We get taken off to the little room. She may survive. Yeah. Stop, Graham. Getting all close to him and I'm thinking, hang on a minute, you're naked, that's my boyfriend. So I get up. And I take all my clothes off, and then I 
Santa comes over and goes, uh, excuse me, love, could you put all your clothes back on and could you please leave? When security threw you out, was it like this? <laughs> Before we say goodnight, it is time for you, the viewers, to sit in the red chair. Tell us your most interesting anecdote. That's what they're doing. They're going to tell us the most interesting anecdote. Should they bore us, then this lever is used. OK, so who's up first? You can do it if you want. Do you want to do it? OK, so who's up first? Who's up first? Oh, hello. <laughs> I haven't said anything yet. Uh, what's your name? Carol. Carol. Off you go. We were invited, my son and myself, to meet the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh. Whoa! Oh, very good opening, Carol. We weren't expecting it. Okay, go. And my son was blind, and the Queen asked him how much sight he had left, and the Duke of Edinburgh said not a lot, judging by the tie he was wearing. The poor Queen. Oh, <laughs> and Carol, can I just say, you are the first person in the series. I, uh, do, unless you want me to collapse the chair. No, uh, please, can I do a runner? Uh -huh. Do a runner, because that was a fantastic yes. story. Well done, Carol! <laughs> the first person in the series did not forget. That was such a good story. Do you think it's true? Yeah. Good old Prince Philip. God love him. <laughs> do a blind person. Every, every time he looks at a £20 note, he thinks, I've had that. <laughs> <laughs> Who's up next? Who's up next? <laughs> oh, hello. Hello. Now, you have signed the form, haven't you? I certainly have. <laughs> Sorry, I think she signed a do not resuscitate form. <laughs> God, God. It's all right. Oh, lovely. What's your name? Uh, Sandra. Sandra. Yes. All right, Sandra. OK, okay. off you go. Right, this is my experience in the yew forest with a man in a kilt. Oh. <laughs> wow. I was out for a walk with my friend Tanita and a, a huge man came along. He was dressed in a kilt and he was carrying a very large stick. <laughs> I think that's what did, I thought. Did it look like a draft scooter? It's a... <laughs> and the, uh, greetings were exchanged and he went on his way. <laughs> um, into the yew forest we went. Deep in the forest. Oh, the yew forest! Me, and suddenly, from behind a tree, out this man in the kilt walked. <laughs> he turned round and he had his kilt up. <laughs> I'm quite short-sighted, so it was lost. <laughs> but he wouldn't leave. And I was going nowhere. I was terrified. Is there an end to this story yes, at all? Now. <laughs> very nearly all we've got time for tonight but it is that time again the collapsing red chair waits you know the drill viewers tell us your most interesting anecdote and if we get bored uh, we pull this lever all right you, you can help me with the lever if you wish uh, mr standard jr uh, who's, who's up first hi it's jim maggie hello what's your name jim maggie jim maggie yes <laughs> magic man they call me okay jim maggie it sounds like a film with robin williams and then <laughs> go go jim well, it was the first day of school. I was a teacher. I was teaching 12-year-olds 12, 12 and 13-year-olds math. And I was getting ready for school, and I got out of the shower, and I went to get my hairpiece. I wore a hairpiece back then, and I couldn't <laughs> find it. And on the floor was the cat with this hairpiece in his mouth. <laughs> and it was all over the place, and he was... I chased him. I chased him all over the house. I finally got him, but I was too bad. I couldn't wear it again. Oh, uh, I wasn't sure. Personally, I'd have done it when he said math instead of maths. <laughs> <laughs> Just using a singular math. All right, yeah. do we have another one? Oh, hello. 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 I'm Craig Poach. So sure. <laughs> <laughs> you could you, could you? It's too early for a Santa hat. I know. <laughs> and a novelty tie thing on a T-shirt. Jesus. <laughs> God, it's, the yeah, it's the end of a long series. I, my patience is very thin. <laughs> hello. Oh, hello. Hi. Um, I work for insurance company. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well done, all the red chair people. Uh, you sit down there, because that is nearly it. But before we say goodnight, uh, it's that time again. The collapsing chair awaits. You, the viewers, tell us your most interesting anecdote. And if we get bored, uh, we pull this lever. <laughs> Obviously, I still think we should market this chair. This chair should be sold at Christmas. People would buy it. <laughs> uh, OK, so uh, who's up first in the chair? Hello. Hello. 
Hi. Hi. What's your name? Sharon Dooling. Sharon Dooling? Yes. Dooling. Lovely. Where are you from, Sharon Dooling? Canada. Marvellous. <laughs> okay. okay, Sharon, off you go. My husband and I were standing in a long queue, and he was being annoying as usual, and he kept pinching my ass. So I reached back, I grabbed his balls, and I squeezed. But when I turned around and looked, it wasn't my husband. <laughs> A stranger pinched her ass. No. Okay. Her husband pinched her ass and she went no, to grab I his think ball. It means a stranger pinched her, is that her ass. Well, not if her husband was there. If a stranger. Uh, no. No. I mean, we could, we could research it, we could ask her, but I'm almost certainly sure that her husband did pinch her ass. And then but, swap places with a bloke. Yeah, or, or, or she okay. just grabbed the wrong set of balls. Because if you're not looking, <laughs> balls feel the same. <laughs> They don't. <laughs> Who's up next? <laughs> Speaking of, uh, hello. Uh, my name's Joe. Joe? Yes. Joe. Very nice, Joe. <laughs> All right, where are you from, Joe? I'm from a little town in South Wales called Monmouth. Uh, so, Joe from Monmouth, delight the nation. Oh. Right, well, um... <laughs> It was very early one morning, and I was running a bit late for an important meeting, and I left the house. Oh, that wasn't nice. He might He's have said... never been to an important meeting. <laughs> but he might have said, and I joined a queue, and this woman just... <laughs> <laughs> OK, please. Uh, that's all, everybody. Well There's just time for a few stories in the collapsing red chair. So, uh, who's up first? Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? Anthony. Anthony. Marvellous. Like he seems happy, doesn't I he? I think we look alike. Really? The we have the house. same mouth and yeah. the same eyebrows. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what was your name again? Anthony. Anthony. His name's Anthony. Uh, OK, this is it. The big time awaits. OK, so if I ever want to have my hair cut, I have to travel 150 miles, cos I'm trying to... <laughs> Me do it. Yeah. No. Billy was yawning. No. Yeah, you were. No. Uh, okay, who's up next? <laughs> oh, wow! Oh, oh. Hi, Hi, what's your name? My name's Nesha. Nesha? All right, off you go, Nesha. Um, I was at a wedding with my husband, and it was great. We were drinking loads of champagne and um, having a great time you know, hanging out with the in laws. It's good. And Very good. Um, we saw the um, bride and groom, and they looked a bit surprised to see us, and we thought, oh, it's probably nerves. Then um, we basically went to have the sit down meal, and um, I basically couldn't find our names anywhere on the seating plan. Um, and then the penny dropped that we weren't actually invited to that part of the wedding. <laughs> I started to cry, and then we ended up having to have our meal with this man who had a phobia of public eating. <laughs> um, I think it was like the knives and forks scraping or something, like, did his head in, so, yeah, that's my story. Oh, <laughs> that's a good one. That was very good. And yet, this will happen. Before we say goodnight, uh, we've just time for a few stories in the collapsing red chair. Uh, you, uh, you've heard the celebrities, now you, the viewers, get to tell us your most interesting anecdotes in the world. <laughs> if you get bored, we pull a lever. All right, so, uh, so quick, I'll just get myself organised. Uh, who's up first? Hi, I'm Kerry. Oh, hello, Kerry. Hi, hi. Hi, hi. And uh, where are you from, Kerry? I'm from Stoke Newington. You're lying, aren't you? Uh, yes, I'm from Middlesbrough. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there was such a funny pause. I'm from, uh, You can if you want to. Oh, let, let me start. OK, OK, this is it. Best story in the world. Best story okay. in the world. I'm not sure if you're wearing a bra for this collapsing chair, but, uh... <laughs> OK. Are they saggy? <laughs> no, no, they just, they, you know, they look like they're going to have some fun on the way over. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> So my story is, um, I used to do a lot of internet dating where I would um, sometimes um, see uh, two or three guys um, a week and when I would meet them, I would always take them to this... <laughs> I'd always 
take them to this one particular bar, which was around the corner from the tube station, because I thought, it's safe. Um, and after, like, the 20th, 30th date I'd taken in there, the <laughs> manager came over to me with my date and told me that I had to leave because he thought I was a prostitute. <laughs> when I got outside, I said to the guy, um, should we go somewhere else? He said, no, thanks, love, and he left me. Oh. <laughs> and he didn't even pay you. He didn't even pay you. You can see why they thought that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, okay, who's up next? Oh, hello. 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 <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? My name Regan. Regan. Yep. Mm. Graham and Regan. That's Regan. <laughs> you know, Tom, he seems playful to me. <laughs> I've taken a very long time. No, so, in your fabulous story, off you go. Um, I once shared a toilet with David Beckham. Um, I was actually living in Hong Kong at the time. I was living in Hong Kong, we went out with a few friends, we found this really great bar that had um, paparazzi outside, and we are like, that must be good. So we went inside, got our photo taken on the way down, got inside, there was no one in there, and we were like, this is weird. And then we sat down, had a drink, and then walked Real Madrid. And we were like, oh, that's amazing. And so everyone was just sort of in awe. And then I had to go to the toilet. So I went to the toilet, <laughs> and um, the security guard came in and said, get out of the it's toilet, David Beckham. <laughs> that's why I'm single. Uh, who, uh, do we have time for one more? Oh, hello. Hello. Hiya. 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 What's your name? Helen. Helen. Yes. OK. Uh, now. Helen, uh, <laughs> delight us with your story. Um, I've actually got a travel story. A tra... OK, might be interesting with volcanic ash. <laughs> where were you? Where were you? Uh, in Bulgaria, backpacking. <laughs> 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 Thank you. I know, I'd love to have one in my house. Wouldn't it be great to have one in your house <laughs> and chatting to someone, just go... <laughs> 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 Just getting into it. Oh. <laughs> Very good. Well done, everyone, the red chair. Uh, that's really it. We'll go and say goodnight. Just time for a few stories in the red chair. You, the viewers, get to tell us your most interesting anecdote of all time. <laughs> Who's that first? Hello. Hiya. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? I'm Caroline. Caroline. Hello. Caroline. Where are you from, Caroline? I'm from Weybridge in Surrey. Fascinating. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> what, what's your uh, what, what's your story? I got attacked by a toilet. Miss <laughs> <laughs> Lopez was not. <laughs> I like this game. Yeah, this game. Miss Lopez is like the queen. She's just like. <laughs> <laughs> should, well, should we risk one more person? Yes. Okay, <laughs> Hi, you look adorable. What's yes. your name? I'm Camilla. Camilla. We have high hopes for you, Camilla. Don't we, Jennifer? Yes. Okay. <laughs> She's applauding you now. Oh, Beware the. <laughs> <laughs> okay, off you go. Uh, well, I was in a very nice pub in Camden once when I decided I need to go to the loo. Uh, so I was sat down having a nice little wee when it turned out I wasn't actually going for a wee, it was actually a poo. Um, <laughs> and it got stuck <laughs> as I was going. Wait, in wait, 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 wait. The pee was poo. Yeah. <laughs> I thought she was asking. Asking. obviously. Um, and it was a poo, but it got stuck, uh, completely wedged. So I had to de wedge it with some tissue. And in my frenzy, as I brought it round, it flew across the toilet, across the cubicle, and landed in between my cubicle and the cubicle next to me. There was immediately a massive shriek from next door, and all I could do but run. <laughs> That's quite a good story. That is quite a good story, yeah. Okay, you better walk off. Walk off. I want to know what happened. Oh, yeah. We're going to check that seat now. Oh, yeah. Adam is going, we should check the seat. <laughs> How does that happen? I don't know, but I wanted to know the ending. That's a good story. Yeah. Yes, it was a good yes. story. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> 
Uh, oh, one, okay, one more. <laughs> one, more, one, more, one more. Okay, this will be it. Oh, hello. Hello, Brian. <laughs> this could test our metal. <laughs> What's your name, sir? Uh, my name's Mark. Mark! Hello, Mark. Where are you from? Uh, Milton Keynes. Milton Keynes? Yes, Land of the Cows. Uh, have you been there? No. Oh, you really must get there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Seriously. Okay. Yeah, if you like the block, you'll love Milton Keynes. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> right, Mark. Mark from the Milton Keynes. Uh, uh, off you go. Uh, well, I used an uh, unexploded World War II bomb as a toy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> she was having none of it. <laughs> I didn't even know what it was. Should we stop? Or should we do... <laughs> All right, one more, one more. It's an issue, it's an issue. Okay, well, this is it. This is our last one. This is our last so one. so fun. Okay. Hi. <laughs> oh, you're going to fly through the air. Okay. <laughs> What's your name? Emily. Hi, Graham. Is it Emily or Emily? Emily. E. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. uh, where are you from? Dublin. Dublin. <laughs> okay. They're everywhere. It's, that story went well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, off you go. Okay, I was on the bus um, coming home and I saw a guy that I really liked on the bus and I thought, I'll have. Can him. I just stop for a second? She's saying bus. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Thank you. Off you go. Sorry, Jennifer. The bus. <laughs> uh, and uh, I saw a guy that I really liked. Um, so it wasn't my stop, but I decided to get off the bus and run after him. And um, we're engaged six years later. Are you still engaged? Yeah. Took wow. six, six years to catch him? If she oh. had. <laughs> when, when are you getting married? Um, next year. Next year. We'll have a lovely wedding. Thanks All right, bye. bye. I fooled her. I fooled her. I fooled her. That is nearly it. But before we say goodnight, uh, just time for a few stories in the red chair. <laughs> this could take longer than usual. <laughs> uh, you, the viewers, uh, get to tell us your most interesting anecdote ever. If we get bored, you know what happens. All right. Now, who's up first? It's me. Oh! Okay, guys. Before okay. I start, it's okay. It's John, right? Yeah, it's John, 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 John. Yeah. Health and safety. Yeah. Your feet oh. need to be on the ground. I know. Otherwise, but look, see, no. my, see my converse, they're red and the chair's red. I get that, but you'll kill yourself. <laughs> I know. Okay. Pets. I mean, don't be me wrong. The story could be fascinating, and maybe something? I won't do this, but. Uh, <laughs> I'm ready for this, okay? Are you guys ready? We're ready, yes. Guys, I don't have a story ready, okay? But I'm just going to think about it, okay? This will happen, okay? Edward, this is my turn. <laughs> Just shot there. When I was on stage um, the other night, I was, t I was busy dancing, like having a great time. And Edward, and Edward, um, mind your hair! <laughs> what about you? Okay, next. Oh, hello. What's your name? It's Jennifer. Jennifer, lovely she Jennifer. Loves Jedward. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, where are you from, Jedward? Jennifer. <laughs> Jennifer, sorry. <laughs> My mistake. Uh, Limerick. I've been up since five. I'm tired. Uh, Jennifer, where are you from, Jennifer? Limerick. Okay, lovely. Uh, now, I don't want to be rude. I think I can see your pants. <laughs> oh, no, it's trousers. Oh, that's fine. Okay, good. Uh, <laughs> this one was better to tell her now. I know. <laughs> it did look a bit pant-esque. <laughs> yes. We've established it's not pants. It's just a, 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 it's a tight trouser affair. <laughs> Okay, almost a legging. I, I would say, yeah, a legging. Would you go with a yeah, legging? I would go with a legging. Legging, mm -hmm. legging. Okay. Uh, so, Jennifer from Limerick in a legging. Uh, <laughs> your best anecdote of your life. Off you go. Uh, the first time I met my in laws, they invited me around for a lovely meal. Um, the father in law told a really funny joke. As I was laughing, uh, put my head back, and a chicken fillet popped out of my bra and landed on the table. <laughs> <laughs> Which everybody found quite funny in the end, but it was quite embarrassing. <laughs> we don't. <laughs> you 
you got a good member of the royal family? We don't. <laughs> Before we say goodnight, uh, just time for a few stories in the red chair. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, I smell blood. Uh, it's uh, chatter time for you, the viewers, to tell us your most interesting anecdote ever. And if you get bored, uh, you know what happens. So, uh, who's up first? Hello. Hi. Hi. Who are you? My name's Gina. 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 Jenna. Gina. Gina. Hello. Hi. Uh, 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 where are you from? Uh, Christchurch, New Zealand. Christchurch, New Zealand. Very specific. We can visit her. Uh, okay. <laughs> and uh, so uh, this is your best story ever. Off you go. In 2006, I was in a demolition derby. I took my tiny little Mitsubishi Mirage. I got uh, ran by a big voxel into a brick wall, and the front of my car went into a big peak, and the front ripped right off. And I thought, right. So I got myself out of the wall and drove straight over the top. Managed to make my way around to the ramp, where another big car t sort of hit the arse end of me. Yes. And I went over the ramp sideways. But my little car. <laughs> I knew she could take it. <laughs> she loved that. I wanted her to say that you could buy an fish and chip shop. Just to hear her say, fish and chops. <laughs> you have to show me some coffee. 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 Yeah, I've left the coffee machine in the garage. <laughs> uh, uh, who's up next? Who's up next? Hello. Hi, Graham. Hello, who are you? Lou. Lou? Hello, Lou. Hello, Graham. Yeah, now, uh, so. So, uh, what's your story now? Off you go. When I was a student at university, to make some extra money, I used to do a bit of waitressing. Yeah. And I got a job to work on a big function at Windsor Castle. And I went off... Can I, I just did... stop you there? Do you mean the actual... Like, a pub or Windsor Castle? No, the, the proper castle. The actual Windsor... The actual Windsor Castle. The actual yeah. Windsor Castle. Okay. So I've, I went along to do this function, and I was helping lay up in this big uh, function room. Function. And I desperately needed the loo... And I thought I could find it on my own. I headed off down a corridor, and then another corridor, and then I found myself on a tiny little corridor, and a door opened on my left, and out came a corgi, and then a couple of seconds later, the queen came out behind the corgi, and I was immediately flattened by a security man who realised I shouldn't be in the area. And that was my story. Should we let it... You just, I think, let it walk off. It was a very good story. Yeah. Holding a camera phone, having taken a photograph. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, do, do we have time for another one? Yeah. Okay, one more, one more, one more. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, hello. Hello. Hi, Graham. Just <laughs> test this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's your name, sir? Uh, Mark. Hi. Where are you from, Mark? I actually live in Dublin, but I'm originally from Macclesfield. Interesting. Is that the story? <laughs> Okay. So, uh, off you go, Mark, originally from Maxfield. OK, my story goes, I was at the dentist and I had to have my wisdom tooth extracted quite unexpectedly. Um, I got home, I wasn't very well after it for some reason, I was bleeding quite a lot. And I got my two friends <laughs> over to look after me and uh, I needed to go to the loo. Oh, here we go. Uh, so... <laughs> we, we were worried about this anecdote and then <laughs> suddenly toilet came to save us. <laughs> Fabulous. OK, off you go, Mark. Having gone to the loo, I was peeing away and suddenly I fainted. <laughs> and there was obviously a loud bang because my two friends came sort of rushing in. Yes. And as I woke up from the fainting, uh, I realised that my willy was still out <laughs> and I was still peeing. <laughs> that is quite a good story. That is quite a good story. But we'll do this anyway. Well done. Well done, well done everybody. <laughs> yeah, listen, you have a lovely chat. I've had such a good time tonight. Uh, but, but, before we say goodnight, just time for a few stories in the red chair. Uh, who's up first? Who's up first? Oh, hello. Hi. Ah, hello. Hi. Who are you? Claire. Claire. How interesting. And, uh, <laughs> and where, where are you from, Claire? Um, Cambridge. Cambridge. She sounds quite posh. OK. <laughs> so this is the, your best anecdote in the whole wide world. This is, this is the corker. This is the guaranteed show-stopping story from Claire. Well, hopefully. How old are you, Claire? 27. 27. This is the funniest thing that's ever happened in her whole... Oh, God. <laughs> um, well, I was in Turkey teaching windsurfing. Um... <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> Nothing funny can follow wind surfing. <laughs> it's just. Do you want to go, Janet? Uh, I feel bad that I'm always in the driving seat. Uh, okay. Oh yeah. Hello. Hi. Hi. You seem too nice to do this. Uh, what, what, what's your name? Miriam. Miriam. Yeah. Those earrings will have her eye out. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, uh, Miriam. What happened to you? Basically, I uh, got on the bus and I suddenly went blind. Good story! <laughs> um, Odd I... story, but <laughs> not why. So I was talking to the bus driver and said, please let me off, please let me off. He wouldn't let me off. I got off the bus, I sat down, I called my mum. Luckily, she was on speed dial. And then I got home... Can I just say, that's a genius detail for someone who's gone blind. <laughs> I believe this story now. That's really, she's really thought it through. I was really it's a good lie if it's a lie. Uh, and then, yeah, and then I got home, I had a muffin, that was fine. I got my sight back and I was happy. <laughs> <laughs> but I was scared, I was really scared. That's just, is that just, that's, is that a, it must be a blood sugar thing, is it? I went to the doctors and he, they, did, they said it was just, I hadn't eaten breakfast, so it was that, yeah. <laughs> An absence of breakfast doesn't normally, yeah. normally make you blind. I'm a special case. Uh, special case, I'm afraid Tyler Perry, he hates you. <laughs> I'm gonna walk. Uh, well done, everyone. <laughs> Victoria Reckham. <laughs> 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 now listen, uh, before we go, we've just got time for a story or two in the uh, red chair. So uh, who's up first? Oh, hello. Hello. <laughs> Smug. <laughs> What's your name? Elio. Elio? Yes. Elio. His name's Elio. <laughs> like the clergyman dropped dead in the middle of baptizing him. <laughs> <laughs> Elio. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Elio, uh, off you go. It's a poem, so I'm glad for that. Okay, off you go. Well, uh, do you know uh, when you have words that sound the same in the same language, but... <laughs> ah, I was not in the mood for that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> one more, okay, one more, one more. Come on. Okay, okay, come on. Okay, hello! Hi, hi, hi! Hiya, uh, how hi. you doing? Who are you? I'm Ennis. Ellis? Ennis, like Dennis, but no D. Okay. <laughs> Before we get started, what does Ennis do with that hair? And what do you do, Ennis? I'm a singer stroke actor. Oh. <laughs> Slash model. <laughs> <laughs> Better look out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, today on the chair, next week on the couch. <laughs> This is like an audition for the couch. Wow. Yeah. This is like chat X Factor. Yeah, this is where it's going. <laughs> okay, Ennis. Okay, yeah. your best story ever. Off you go. Well, one day I happened to be perusing in Harrods. And... Stop you there. <laughs> Fabulous use of the word peruse. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I wasn't expecting yeah. that. While Ennis, I'm in it's the going very well. Yes, okay. <laughs> While I'm in the store, I can hear someone saying, Chris, Chris, Chris. I, I thought it was quite odd. Anyway, I, two hours later, and five floors, I traversed the f five floors. Um, I thought to myself, who is this idiot calling out Chris, Chris, Chris? I look back, and suddenly I saw a woman and a man walking towards me. Hi, Chris, how you doing? Basically, what it was, Graham, they thought I was Chris Rock. And I'm always getting, yeah, I know, I can't see it myself, but I'm always getting that from everybody that I look like Chris Rock. Been a pleasure. Just the time for a story to in the red chair. So, uh, who's up first? Hi. <laughs> Not promising. <laughs> <laughs> now, where, what's your name? Uh, George. George? Yeah. And where are you from, George? I'm uh, from outside Atlanta, Georgia. Oh, we, hence the ah. screaming. Very good. <laughs> now then, I'll stop. Now, I say, hence the screaming, and what do they do? Stop. <laughs> Thank you. It's not a lot to ask. Poor George is here. George from Georgia. And, uh, uh, lazy parents. Now, um, <laughs> and, and 
what do you do, George, in Georgia? I'm actually a university professor at University of Georgia. Wow. This could what? be interesting. What do you lecture in? Uh, theater and film studies. Well... <laughs> <laughs> no, I must have <laughs> Uh, okay, George, off you go. All right. Uh, well, my first job outside of college was working at an amusement park, performing in a show. Oh! <laughs> We'd had the best of George. <laughs> he came all the way from America. <laughs> <laughs> That was seconds. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, we, we chatted for a while, and, and then I was bored. Uh, okay. Uh, do we have another one? Do we have another one? Hello. Hi, you Graham. Hi. Now I'm now. <laughs> now. Are you from Atlanta you're from as Georgia. well? How do you no, know her? no, I'm from London. Oh, you're from London. Okay. Uh, what's your name, by the way? It's Laura. Laura, and you're from London. What do you do, Laura? I work as a traffic operator. <laughs> <laughs> what, what does it mean? What I is work a traffic? in the London Traffic Control Centre. <laughs> so, I, I travel in London. There is no control centre. <laughs> oh, there is, Graham. Trust me. What do you do? We um, change the phasing on the traffic lights sometimes. <laughs> Someone was responsible yeah. for that. <laughs> All right. So uh, we've got. Uh, uh, hello, hello, hello. Oh, hi. Hi, Graham. Hello. What's your name? John. This is John, everybody. Is John with friends? Just yes. people from Atlanta. They're just screaming at everybody. <laughs> <they're> <laughs> just screaming at everybody. <laughs> okay. So, uh, John, and where are you from? Uh, Croydon. Croydon. Oh, thank you. A mighty cheer. <laughs> Have you been to Croydon, Usher? <laughs> You might have been through it. <laughs> have you ever flown out of Gatwick? <laughs> You've been to Croydon. <laughs> and what do you do in Croydon, John? I work for the police. <gasps> <gasps> it's not traffic related, is it? No, it's counter-terrorism. I look after you all. Counter-terrorism? Yeah. And you've got... Yeah, very good. Very good. Slightly concerned you've got time to sit in my red chair telling stories. There's an unattended bag over there, Graham. Please, no, no! <laughs> All right, John, what's your story? Uh, I came last in the first ever London Marathon. <laughs> That's sort of the end of that story, but it's a bit... I'll ask, so what happened? You, were you just very, very slow? No, my friend put me up for it and told me two months before the day, so I decided I wouldn't do any training. I'd just jog up and down Bromley High Street. <laughs> and when it came down to doing the race, um, I got knackered halfway through, couldn't do anything, walked it, thought I did all right after six and a half hours, then I got home the next day, read the paper that I came last officially in the Times report, and I also got fired from my job because I couldn't get to work the next day because I couldn't move. <laughs> Awful, Awful. Wait a minute, people in suits of armour and dressed up as caterpillars and things came faster than you. Yeah, I'm afraid so. I had no and, training. And you're responsible for protecting our country from terrorism. <laughs> <laughs> that that is terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, thank you very much. Shall we flip John? Shall we yes. flip John? Yeah. Uh, you want me to flip? Oh, yeah. Stories in the red chair. Uh, let's see who's up first. Oh, hello. Hi, Graham. Oh. <laughs> okay. So Just do it now. The funniest <laughs> thing that's ever happened. Oh! Oh! <laughs> hey, I've never even found out his name. But he looked like he was going to tell us he collects string or something. <laughs> You should have an eye for that sort of person. I yeah. do, I knew, I knew straight away. <laughs> okay, well, let's, let's one more, let's have one more. Oh, hello. Hi. 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 Hello. Uh, what's your name? Julie. Julie. You're right, Julie. I'm fine, thank yes. you. Yes. I'm dying to go loose, so don't push me back yet. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. Well done, well done. I'm loving this. <laughs> should, we, what, should we try one? 
One more, one more. She might the body just mopping up. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, hello. Hello, what's your name? Oh, it's James. James. Okay, James, what's your story? Uh, well, I'm a chef, and um, about a month ago, me and my girlfriend got <laughs> engaged, and... Yeah. Yeah. You've been on Britain's Got Talent way too long. Yeah. Yeah. Engagement doesn't get anything here. Yeah. Nothing. So yeah, we're like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you got engaged. We're thrilled for you. Yeah, Go we're on. Engaged. <laughs> no, I am and, really um, thrilled for you. Thank you. Anyway, so <laughs> she, she made it very clear that she um, wanted to pick her own engagement ring, which is fine, mm -hmm. but it did. I didn't quite know what to do about getting her a ring to put on the finger when I actually asked her. So because I was a chef, I decided to make one out of icing. So I spent about 18. <laughs> And she said yes. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see that man that swallowed my ring on Britain's Got Talent? Yeah. <laughs> I hadn't got it on the ceiling actually, but he did, it was real. How did you but get it back? <laughs> she stroked his belly. Yeah. <laughs> Alison, that's all the time. Uh, before we go, uh, we've just got time for a story or two in our red chair. You were looking at this puzzled. I was. All will become clear in a moment. Okay. So, uh, who's up first on the red chair? Hello. 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 Hi. <laughs> Do you work in the theatre? No. Oh, just... Oh, hello. You're right. <laughs> There's the smoke getting in your eyes. <laughs> no, because he looks quite... He's all in black. He uh -huh. looks like he might wear... You see, oh, you're yeah. all in... Yes, yeah. you see. It's very theatrical. Uh, what's your name, by the way? My name is Mete. Mete? Yes. Lovely. Grand. No, no, that's fine. And, uh, so, uh, what do you do, Mete? I work for an estate agent. Oh. <laughs> and that's sad. <laughs> all right, Mete. Uh, if this story's good, I could take you away from all of that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if you got married? <laughs> if this is the clip they show at our wedding. <laughs> We go off in a chair together. Yeah, it'd be yeah. lovely. Oh, it's a funny story. Oh, <laughs> oh you tell them, Meta. You tell them. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, you're laughing now. <laughs> OK, Meta. Uh, 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 off you go with your story. Well, my story is, it was the first year anniversary. Um, it's a paper anniversary, so... Anniversary? Anniversary. <laughs> Are you married? I'm married, unfortunately. <laughs> Wasting my time. <laughs> Should we try one more? <laughs> I'm liking them tonight. <laughs> oh, hello. Hi, Graham. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? I'm Mike. Mike? Lovely Mike. What do you do? I'm a complementary therapist. I do colonic hydrotherapy. <laughs> and I had a previous job where I used to do telephone sex. I was a dominatrix called Mistress Veronica. You were a woman on the telephone? Yeah. <laughs> you didn't sound like this, presumably. I sounded much more like this, Graham. How much do you hate Skype? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, what was your name again? Mike. 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 OK, so, uh, Mike, I like the idea of complimentary therapies. Yeah. <laughs> uh, do care. Do care. Yeah. <laughs> Off you go with my way to story. We had various punishments for our slaves that used to phone up and speak to us. And one of them was... Sorry, I, their... you know, come <laughs> I got very, very confused yeah. there for a moment. But I'm with you now. We're on your phone sex. Not day. the complimentary <laughs> therapy, no. Yes, no. And one of the punishments... <laughs> that was a, re <laughs> a really bad clinic. Yeah. <laughs> the slave will see you now. <laughs> Yeah, one of the punishments was to put sellotape over the pubic hair and rip it off on command. And oh. we had them send it all in for our Christmas decorations and hung it around the room. Oh, that's... Oh. <laughs> 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 I've, I've 
you started coming through. I'm just <laughs> myself that question and now I know the answer. <laughs> uh, thank you very much Mike. Uh, you. We loved your story. You can walk away now. <laughs> well done, Before we go, uh, we've just got time for our last stories of the series from the red chair. Uh, so uh, who's up first? Hello. Hello. Wow. Now, I wasn't expecting that voice for you. <laughs> I'll go manly if you want Gwen. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Hiya. <laughs> What's your name, sir? I'm Simon. Simon? My yes. He looks oh. like the BFG in that chair. Gee, <laughs> <laughs> you must be enormous. I am extremely huge. You are as big as a female tennis player. <laughs> <laughs> How big are your hands, though? How big are your hands? Huge. They're massive. They're like doubles, yeah. man. Massive. <laughs> what, what do you do for a living? I'm a sailor. Oh, you don't even use a sail just to hold your hands up? No, no, no. <laughs> 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 so, <laughs> so uh, off you go with your story, sir. OK, well, a similar subject to we were talking about uh, tonight. Um, regards to a wedding, we had a mock wedding, uh, myself and my wife now. Uh, uh, we had a lot of pressure from our parents uh, when we were dating, uh, and they wanted us to uh, sort of get married, so we thought, well, sod it, we'll, uh, we'll f uh, fake a wedding. So um, we invited everyone around for a family party after the so-called wedding. Uh, we all had carnations, we had a best man, etc., confetti everywhere. And uh, basically, uh, when they came in, all a little bit sombre, what's happened, with what we've missed, and uh, I got my best man to announce that um, we'd got married. Uh, and then there was pandemonium, uh, loads, of, loads of people crying, etc. And uh, uh, my wife got slapped by her, her mum. I love how terrible that story <laughs> is. So <laughs> 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 now I'm just your mom, your mother-in-law. Oh wow! I'm like, why not just get married yeah. if you're going to go all the time? Well, what stage do you go? Only joking. <laughs> <laughs> Too far when you've been slapped. <laughs> yeah, fair yeah, enough. Right. Uh, do we have another one on there? Oh, yeah, we do. Hello. Hi there. Yeah, it's you. Yes. <laughs> there isn't, not, there's only one red chair. You're in it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what's your name, pretty lady? My name is Kristen. Kristen? Yeah. And what do you do, Kristen? I'm a teacher. A teacher? Lovely. Off you go, sorry. Off you go. Okay. Um, I was trying to impress my boyfriend on our third date. Uh, third date, did you third say? Third date. God is in the details. Yep. Uh, and I uh, stole my sister's lingerie. I was living with my parents at the time and my sister. Um, I took it out of her dresser drawer to impress my boyfriend uh, to look all sexy. And we were home alone together, just me and my boyfriend on the sofa. And my sister came home un unexpectedly <laughs> and me and was very, very upset, very angry with me. Yeah. And I said, I'm really, really sorry. I'll, I'll buy you a new one. I so sorry really awkward moment and anyhow turns out she wasn't really angry with that i said well what are you so mad about and what are you so angry with and she said well your boyfriend's just run over my dog in the driveway <laughs> said, that is one of the best stories because you so never saw that coming <laughs> Maybe the dog. No, 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 we've, no you've obsessed Anna Kornikova. <laughs> she just wanted the dirty lingerie bit of the story. <laughs> no, but, the but you weren't expecting... No, it's dead. But you weren't... <laughs> I was not expecting your home, and anyway, I just thought she was angry about the negligee I, I pinched. I no, no, we got it, yeah. my boyfriend killed her dog, I didn't know. Uh, you can walk, you can walk, lady. Oh. We're not going to flip you. Oh. Well done. Go, walk, walk, walk. Listen, before we go, uh, we've just got time for a story or two in the red chair. So, uh, who's up first? Who do we have first? <gasps> Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> now, I don't, know it's, I don't know if it's the perspective, Amazing. but you look like you've got the longest arms <laughs> in the world. He <laughs> 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 looks like that Kenny Everett thing, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's your name, sir? Uh, Rusty. Rusty? Rusty? Yeah. Is that short for anything? Uh, no. Rusty. 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 It'd be weird baptizing somebody. I call you Rusty, but you're, you only just got wet. Yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> uh, so, Rusty, um, off you go. Okay, well, I just moved to London and I got a flat with a flat share site. Um, obviously, I didn't know the people too well. Um, anyway, it was my good. first day back from work. I was pretty hyper and there was no one in the flat. So um, I was dancing about, and then as I was getting changed, I thought, I know, as there's no one about, I might get naked. So <laughs> as I was dancing around the flat naked, doing a bit of a jig, I did a twirl, turned around, and my flatmate was there with his parents, who don't speak English. <laughs> 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 Sorry, I can't believe it! I just get so big! I'm so annoyed! <laughs> Start a car. <laughs> Is my chair actually?
actually broken. <laughs> I mean, people are going, it appears so. <laughs> The fact that the parents didn't not speak English made that story somehow worse. <laughs> it definitely did, though. Oh, did it? Yeah, definitely. Because, you know, when he's trying to explain himself, then he's going to have to translate and, you know, be messy. Is there much to explain, Charlotte? <laughs> he's just naked and dancing. Yeah. Yeah, but this is the reason why. He's had such a good day at work. I've had good days at work, but I've never thought I'm going to get naked and dance. <laughs> really? Not really. <laughs> I thought it was a regular day. <laughs> I was mentioning that you work in Tesco. That went really well today. Why not? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll pretend Madonna's over there. <laughs> I love that nodding. Yeah. It's very good. Oh, we think we've got it mended. Me. Oh, you shouldn't. You shouldn't now shake him off gonna, for that. Now you're going to throw him off. Yeah. That's a, that a good story. Is there any way to make it? Yeah. People yeah. have made it. Oh. Not him. <laughs> Is there any way to make it? <laughs> <laughs> um, do we have time for one more? Okay, one very last one, then we're out of here. Okay. Hello. Uh, what's your name, lovely lady? My name's Kira. Kira. And uh, what do you do, Kira? I'm a student. Of, of, of? I do advertising and marketing. Advertising and marketing? Yeah, and I'm from Plymouth. That's uh, West Country Twang, I know it is. Do you know Russell? No, we don't, no. We don't know, all know each other. Just because <laughs> we're from <laughs> Asking. Yeah, you never know. You never know. Uh, right, my dear. Uh, off you go with your with your uh, with your story. Okay. So basically, I really really fancied this guy, but I didn't have the courage to talk to him. So I thought, if I get really really <laughs> drunk, then I might get some du Dutch courage, and it didn't work. So I said to my friend, "We need to do something." So <laughs> I said, "I'm going to faint. You need to clear the area. I'm going to faint." This was in a club. So I fainted, and she shouted, "Clear the area! Clear the area!" And after that, he still didn't notice me. So I thought, right, I need to really step it up now. So I got on the dance floor, got some UV glow sticks going, put one in my mouth, and I accidentally bit through it. Next minute, I was vomiting green UV rays <laughs> on the dance floor, and he still didn't notice me. Yeah. <laughs> well done, you! Yeah. 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 See? Somebody made it through. Before we go, we have got time for a story two in the red chair. All right, I don't know if you're familiar with this. I'm looking forward to it. It's like an apprentice for uh, chat show guests, essentially. <laughs> they come on and tell their best story, and, you know, we'll see how it goes. Uh, OK, who's up next? Oh, there's somebody. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Brilliant. My name's Josie. It's Josie. <laughs> uh, hi, Josie. What do you do, Josie? I am, I'm a part-time uh, worker and mum. OK, what do you do for part-time work? I work in a delicatessens. A delicatessens? Mm-hmm. Hmm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm sure that works, but anyway. Uh, for good for you, so uh, off you go with your story. I once saved a baboon's life. Oh, good start! <laughs> Very good start. Mm -hmm. OK. Not as good as I once killed a baboon. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so you saved the baboon's life. I, I, I hope there's a kiss of life in this story. Go. <laughs> uh, in the 70s, when I was a zookeeper, there was a big... Wait a minute! Oh, <laughs> this could be the best story you've ever had! <laughs> yes, zookeeper. Was good, in the 70s, when we could eat them. <laughs> yeah, it was great. <laughs> uh, OK, yeah, off you go. OK, there was a, a baboon island with a moat round it, and a female baboon fell into the water, and she was drowning. So I just fell into the water, swam up to her, and either she was going to rip my throat out, or she would trust me to save her. And thankfully, she trusted me to save her. She wrapped her arms around my neck, put her head on my shoulder, and allowed me to swim her back to the island. That was the most beautiful story I've ever heard. I think, that I think that deserves a song. <laughs> <laughs> I think that you deserve, you deserve to walk off. Oh, uh, yes. Unless, do you want me to flip you? Do you want to be flipped or not? Go on, then. Do you want to be flipped? Go on, my, my son would love it. Go OK, on. and this way we get to see your shoes. Oh. OK, <laughs> off you go. I was really hoping that when you did that, she'd have big baboon legs. And <laughs> <laughs> um, why can't baboons swim, stupid bitch of a baboon? <laughs> okay, do you have another one? 
Okay, this is the final one. Final one. Here we go. Hello, sir. Hello, Graham. Hello, what's your name? It's Ross. Hi, Ross. Hi. Hi there. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm very well. Hi. <laughs> uh, so, uh, so uh, what do you do, Ross? I'm a programmer for Vodafone. Ooh, very good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, very good. Uh, okay, sir. Uh, delight us with your tail. Um, my story is about me and my gorgeous girlfriend, Faye, who's in the audience just in front of you for a bit. Oh, Faye, wave, Faye. Let's have a look at what. Oh, there's Faye. Wow. Ooh. <laughs> is she the one with no bra? <laughs> yes, there she Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Uh, out of your league. Uh, I was uh, out of your league. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry, while you were backstage, James Blunt ran off with her. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, so you're Ross. Yep. And she's Faye. She okay. is indeed. This is a tale of Ross and well, Faye. She's actually put up with me for seven years now. Seven years? Seven years. And over the last few months, she's been dropping lots of hints. Um, about me asking her something, and I thought I would ask her now. <laughs> Faye, oh, would yeah. you like yeah. me? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, right. Wait. <laughs> no, 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 that's me. Should we do it properly? No. Should we do it properly? Great, great. It's best that go, you go dropped him. Do you want go back there with him? <laughs> go back there with him. Oh, no. Oh, you can say no if you want to. <laughs> <coughs> Somebody follow, follow someone. You'll bring you back there. Yeah, yeah. Go back there. Right. Oh! <laughs> go, go. Go. Don't rush. <laughs> Bit of a walk to the gallows, wasn't it? <laughs> I know. Seven years, I was sort of winding it up. <laughs> Me? <laughs> this might get edited out. I'm not Look, sure about this, Graham. I think she might be saying no. <laughs> be honest, though, how funny would that be after no, that? Be honest. How funny would that be? I would cry tears. Oh, brilliant. Okay. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. What's happened? What's happened? Has anything happened since? No? Have you had a row you made up? <laughs> okay, okay. So now. I've bought you this Faye. hamster. Shh. Here we go. Here we go. This, this is. I think this is real. Okay, off you go. Faye, I love you. Will you marry me? Yeah. <laughs> oh! Of time, but so we're just going to have uh, a quick go of uh, the red chair, okay? Uh, uh, we do this every week. It's not an homage to Jackass. This, wow. if it was Jackass at the back, there'd be a big padding pool of poo or something <laughs> <laughs> with a piranha in it. But uh, it's just a chair. Uh, so uh, who's up first? Who's up first? Oh, hello. Hello. Hi. Who Joan. Joan Rivers was my Girl Scout leader. That seems very. <laughs> Scout leader, were you? Are you any of mine? <laughs> Let's go camping with Auntie Joan. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, so, do, uh, they're saying one more. Should we one yeah, more? Yeah, okay, yeah. one more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, come on, quick, quick, quick. Oh, hello. Hello. Hi. Oh, hello. Hi. I like, oh, already, see now, isn't it funny? I like this woman. Because she's got a coat on. <laughs> oh, she's got a coat on. She's ready. She's ready for the yeah, off. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what's your name, nice lady? Uh, Jackie. Jackie. Good on you, Jackie. And uh, what do you do? I'm a journalist. Ooh. 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 Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Gentle with me. What, what, what sort of what sort of journalism do you do, Jackie? Well, I'm a sub editor for the Sunday Mirror. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us your story, Jackie. <laughs> 
a superloo with my four-year-old daughter a few years ago. You were in a what? A superloo in the middle of a high street. Oh, yes. And my four-year-old went and pressed the button to open the door when I was sitting on the toilet. So I was <laughs> totally exposed to the high street. So I screamed and she was so shocked. She leapt outside, so the door shut on me. It went dark. And you know with these superloos, they flush it out every time. <laughs> sitting in there showered with all these chemicals and, <laughs> and I was stuck in the dark trying to find my way out with Lara, the four-year-old, screaming outside. Uh, it's it's you think the sort of karma... Sort of karma. <laughs> Before we release you back into the wild, we've just got uh, time for a story two in the red chair. So uh, let's see who's up first. Hello, what's your name? Hi, I'm Rihanna. We've got one of those. I don't want two of them. You know what I mean? Her life is blighted. There's only going to be one famous, successful Rihanna, and you're it. Do we have one more? One more? One more? Quick, 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 quick. Hello. Hello. Hi. What's your name? Carol. Carol. So, what's your story? Off you go. Well, I was getting ready for work one day, and I was there getting ready, and I noticed the bin men outside. I thought, oh, blood me neck, I haven't put the bin out. So I ran downstairs, pushed the wheelie bin down the drive, and everybody's saying, morning, Carol, morning. I said, oh, morning. Bin men, all right, love. I said, all right. And I'm thinking, I must look all right today. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then I looked down, I ain't got my pants on. <laughs> I think, Carol, you deserve to walk yeah. off. We like the story. <laughs> <laughs> well, you walk, you walk well done, Carol. Very few people walk away. Carol, I like that. You were Hi, just Carol. Too scared to Hi, flip Carol. her up in case she didn't have her pants on again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Before we go, and let's have a quick story to in the uh, red chair. This is the red chair. Oh, I'm so, so uh, who's up first? Who's up first? Hello. Hello. Hi, what's your name? Emma. Emma? And what do you do, Emma? I work for the Open University. For the Open... I, do you know, I didn't know that was still going. It is. It's amazing. It's the still Open University. <laughs> well done. <laughs> what do you do for them? I'm an advisor. <laughs> she knows that. She's an advisor. I wish I had that job. <laughs> Is she advising? Who, to whom is she, who is she advising? Who are you advising? Oh, students, helping people work out which courses they want to do. Ah. Oh, OK, interesting. OK, off you go, my dear. Well, um, a long time ago at work, they sent me on a first aid course, and I was quite nervous to go on the course, and they told us a lot about um, resuscitation, and we had to always uh. check for danger before... <laughs> <laughs> She'd lost. Sex she'd lo sex no, she'd lost David Hayes' interest. Wow. She'd lost David Hayes' interest. short attention like span. That. I know, but you're, you, <laughs> what is it? Overcome? What is it? You unload? <laughs> 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 But she was just getting the good part. I know, but you know, I'd know. lost, I'd lost oh someone God. on the sofa. Uh, uh, do we have anyone else in there? Quick, 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 quick. Oh, hello. Hi. Oh. <laughs> she might be a Bette Midler fan. We can't oh, be I'm sure. Wow, I love uh, What's your name? Laura. Laura. Uh, does your story involve uh, Ms. Midler? It does, yeah. I'm a huge fan. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> See? Do you want to? Yes, of course. Uh, no, you can do I want to throw her? No, uh, I'm not, I'm going to listen. I'm not going to let you in <laughs> All right, off you go. OK, when I was about 13, um, at school, we had to write an essay about what interested us. And mine, of course, was on Bette Midler. So um, I, I thought it was amazing, you know. I spent a lot of time on it. And then um, when, uh, when we got our chance to read it out in front of the class, they weren't as interested as I would have liked them to be. So I thought, now, what would Bette do? So <laughs> I said, right, who's ready for a song? And I sang about two of her hits, and I aced it. Do, do you want to see something interesting, Beth? Yes. Watch this, watch this. <laughs> I have 
has the power. <laughs> Listen, uh, just where we go, we do have uh, a story or two in the red chair. Uh, this is a, we do this at the end of every show. So, uh, basically, people sit in the red chair and they tell their best story. Uh, so, who's up first? Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. You feeling the chill? I am. You are. What's your name? Christine Mayhew. Uh, what do you do? I'm a lawyer. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, what sort of lawyer? Uh, I practice family law, so people who are getting divorced, that sort of thing. Okay. So if you were injured on a chat show, you wouldn't have a claim against us, right? <laughs> I didn't take that class in law school. Oh, okay, fine. Uh, oh, Justin wants to know where you're from. I'm from Seattle, Washington. Oh. Seattle, Washington. Nice. Washington State. Cool. States. Is that where you are? <laughs> no, she's out the back. No, well, I can't see her. No, I know. The fair question. It is. it is a fair question. It's just, given the production values on the show, the chances of her being in Seattle were quite slim. <laughs> <laughs> so, Why? What is she here for? I, let's what? ask her. What? What are you doing here? My friend Heidi Orr, who's in the audience, talked me into doing this, and I was so thrilled when I heard that Jack Black was going to be on the show because I'm a huge fan. Oh. Maybe you should Google me. So you have to stack up. <laughs> uh, all right, darling, uh, off you go with your story. Okay, so when I was in school, this kid named John Wayne dumped me for this girl named Cece Barger. She had six toes and she ate glue. <laughs> Cece. <laughs> do we have someone else in the chair? Oh, we do. Hello. Hi, Graham. Hello. You've got a bag? I do have a bag, yeah, it's a laundry bag. To a show with their laundry. <laughs> uh, quickly, one last one. One last one. Hello. Hello. Hi. Uh, what's your name? Jennifer. Jennifer. Yeah. Uh, where are you from, Jennifer? South Africa originally. It's so international our program this evening. Exactly. <laughs> okay, off you go with your story. Do you like us? Well, my then boyfriend, not so long ago, so it still makes me blush. Um, he. Yeah, we You're rich, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, um, decided to take me along to really kiss. <laughs> Listen, before we go, uh, let's have a story or two in the uh, red chair. Uh, so, uh, who's up first? Uh, uh, hello. Hello, Graham. Oh, look at you. You're in it for the long haul. You're snuggling in there. Uh, what's your name? Monica. Sorry? Monica. What? Monica. Monica. Hello. Monica. Graham. Monica. Monica. Hello. Uh, where, where, where are you from, Monica? <laughs> I come from Germany, but I live in London now. Okay, Monica. <laughs> What, what do you do, Monica? Not a lot. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> She's scum and scum. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, uh, Monica, Monica, uh, off you go with your story. Um, when I was living in the country, I had to drive into town, and on the way uh, to town, I passed um, a local um, amusement <laughs> arcade. <laughs> 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 was having none of it. Yeah. I heard it. She was just going, this is boring. Yeah. <laughs> that hasn't been a that's twirl. Like that was lifted with, her. Better with pictures, that story. Yeah. Yeah. Better with little pictures of houses and cars. <laughs> I drove into town. <laughs> I thought she was called Horny Cat. <laughs> I thought she was using her chat name. I thought she was called Mooney Cow. Yeah. <laughs> Mooney Car. Uh, anyone else? Anyone else? Oh, hello. Hello. Hi, hi, hi. hi. Uh, what's your name? Liga. My name is... <laughs> no, seriously, if people just put their hand in a Scrabble box <laughs> and come up with names tonight. Uh, Liga. Liga. Where are you from, Liga? I'm from Latvia. Latvia. Yeah. Marvellous. You're all very welcome. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> She's put Liga in her name. <laughs> <laughs> they put me off the scent. I'm legal. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, what, 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 do you, what do you do here with a work permit? Uh, I work for a travel company. Sorry? I work for a travel company. She works for a travel company. Yeah. Yes. At any moment, she can get to an airport. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, off you go, Liga. 
Um, my story takes in place in Mexico. Uh, two so international. <laughs> Sorry, Lee, go ahead. <laughs> two weeks ago, I got married in Mexico. Oh. Uh, <laughs> and um, also during the trip, um, me and my husband, <laughs> we went to scuba diving uh, trip. Uh, which I actually didn't enjoy very much because I got sick and sick oh, over my jumper oh, no. and didn't no. like going oh, under oh, the water. Like oh, no. And after the trip, we needed to take a boat to get back to the hotel. Yes. And uh, on yeah. the boat, uh, I realized something smells not really very well. And I said to my husband, Oh, smell my jumper. I think it smells of sick. And he got really <laughs> cross with me because he wasn't feeling very well because. Uh, Steve is very choppy, and he said, like, are you crazy? Are you mental? I don't want to smell your sick on the jumper. So, yep, yeah, yeah. that's my story. <laughs> that's good, Big Rob. This is disgusting. I love it. I love it. That's an anecdote. The punchline of the anecdote, no. I don't want to smell the sick on your jumper. <laughs> that girl, she's one of Latvia's top comedians. <laughs> Saturday night. She's like the uh, Latvian Graham Norton. She is. <laughs> <laughs> they love that stuff yeah. in Latvia. They go, ah, oh, the sick on the sick jumper, on the Joe. Jumper. <laughs> Quick, quick, what, last one, last one, last one, last one. Hello, hi. Hello. Hello, what's your name? Sam. Sam. Right. Uh, where are you from, Sam? I am from Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> you just run around Catwick with a big neck. <laughs> <laughs> this yeah. is bonkers. Yeah. <laughs> But anyway, I'm thrilled you're from Brazil. That's marvellous. Thank you. What do you do in Brazil or here? Uh, no, I'm here. I'm a minister of religion. Ooh. <laughs> I don't, I don't, ooh. <laughs> uh, all right. So uh, off you go with your story, sir. I was in a boarding school, 15 years old, and um, it was a Valentine's party, and there was this really pretty girl I wanted to invite, oh, okay. and she was the hot blonde of the school. So I went and invited her, and we went to the Valentine's party, and it was very nice. But I wanted to carry it on. So the following day, I knew that she was going on a geography trip. I didn't do geography, so what did I do? I faked that I loved geography, and I managed to convince everyone that I had to be on this trip. Cheddar Caves was my passion from when I was young. So I went on the trip. Meanwhile, she convinced her parents that she was ill that day so she could stay behind. So I ended up going on the trip, being very disappointed on the bus not to find her. And when she turned up in the afternoon at school, I wasn't there. But the good news is that uh, 14, 15 years later, we're happily married today. That was, that was really the point of his story, but just say, I'm really happy. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Yeah, we've got a story or two in uh, the red chair. So uh, who's going to be up first? Hello. Hi, Graham. Hi. Hello. But no, <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what's your name? It's Deborah. Deborah, lovely Deborah. Uh, and what do you do for a living, Deborah? Um, I'm an exotic dancer. No, I'm not. I'm a housewife. <laughs> <laughs> same thing. Same thing. Same thing. <laughs> Okay, Deborah, I, I won't keep you. Off you go with your story. Okay, then, Graham. Um, well, I was sitting at home. Well, my story is about my pixies. My pixies in my. <laughs> 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 oh, I can't apologise enough, Cher. <laughs> Some weeks, this is the best bit of the show. <laughs> Okay, do we have, do we have another one? Should we quickly just try one more? Let's try one more. Hello. Hello, hi, Graham. Hi. Hi. Is your name Will? No, Alex. Do <laughs> 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 one more. Can we ever bring him back up? Oh, hello. <laughs> Oh, she's making herself very she's like... <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> well, what's your name, nice lady? Catherine. Catherine. All right. High hopes for you, Catherine. Uh, and where were you from, Catherine? I'm from Nottingham. Nottingham? No yes, hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Up the rest. All right, uh, all right, uh, off you go. Right, well, I like to go on holiday and I love Cornwall. So, as you do, when you go to Cornwall, you go on lots of walks. So I was walking along one day and who should I see in her drive uh -oh. but Dawn French? Uh -oh. <laughs> well, I'm a huge yes. 
fan of Dawn French. So uh -oh. I um, asked her if I could have her autograph. Oh, get, get rid of her. And so. she, <laughs> said, she said, get lost. No, I'm A story or two in the red chair. Uh, who's up first? Hello. <laughs> you seem too young to be in our red chair. Uh, hello. Uh, what's your name? I'm Megan. Megan? Yeah. And what, what do you do, Megan? I'm a student at the University of Birmingham. She's a student at the University of Birmingham. Woo! What do you study? <laughs> um, I do business in French. Mm, how boring. <laughs> <laughs> I think she'd be rioting. <laughs> she should be, I know. It's Christmas Eve. Give her a break. Uh, all right, uh, off you go with your story. OK, so my story is that I was babysitting two weeks ago um, for two very young children, and basically I used the facilities and managed to break the lock whilst I was in there, in there for a casual three hours. And uh, I decided I need to get out of here, so... Um... <laughs> <laughs> He's an idiot! <laughs> So cruel. After three hours, she decided she ought to get out. There's two small children on the other side of the door. She shouldn't be encouraged. <laughs> anyway, uh, is there someone else in our chair? Hello. <laughs> uh, what's your name, sir? Bob Holmes. Sorry? Bob. Bob. Very good, Bob. Can uh, I just warn you, Graham, just before you decide, just remember there's a lot of shortage of hospital beds in this country. <laughs> so just be very... There's some trolleys, but not many beds, so... I'm confident I'm going to like Bob's story. OK. All right. Uh, so, uh, off you go, Bob. I'm staying with the uh, mother-in-law for Christmas, and on Friday night, <laughs> I want to tell a mother-in-law joke. Can I stop you, Bob? Bob, how old is your mother-in-law? Ninety. Ninety? How old are you, Bob? Seventy-seven. Seventy-seven. OK, very good. <laughs> OK, so you're staying with your mother-in-law. Yeah. As she knows, Les Dawson is a hero of mine, and one of his jokes I've always wanted to put to her. Never had the guts, so I have now. My mother-in-law is so two-faced, if you tell her something sad, she cries all down the back of her neck. <laughs> yeah. Very good. Well done, Bob. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> you know what you did? You know what you did to that man? You patronised him, because that was a poor story. No, but I didn't want to hurt him. <laughs> no, you should have hurt him. No! People have to learn. People have to learn. You're, You're a me. guest! Look! It's my name I'm on the sorry. card. Yes, sorry. <laughs> you time for another one for Christmas Eve. Oh, hello. Hi, hi, hi. Hey, what's your name? Hi, it's Diane. Diane. And uh, what do you do, Diane? Um, actually, I recently got made redundant today, oh. so, um, nothing. Oh. <laughs> Flipper! Because she's had a bad day, <laughs> No, it is tempting, though, <laughs> because, because Dan brought us all a bit down. Uh, we're having a lovely evening. Yeah. And, oh, Christmas ruin. Exactly, so flip her. No, let's no. hear a story. My okay. cheer is all back up again. OK. OK. Is it a cheery story, Dan? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> Final one, final one, final one. Here we go, here we go. Hello. Hello, hi. Now, this is a perky lady with a great story to tell. I sense this. What's your name? My name's Stephanie. Stephanie. All right, Stephanie. And where are you from, Stephanie? I'm from London. Woohoo! <laughs> and, uh, and what do you do, Stephanie? I'm a paralegal. Paralegal, she anyone? parachutes into court. Paralegal. <laughs> uh, off you go, off you go. OK, so it was on the underground, really rush hour, loads and loads of people, and I felt a sneeze coming, but I couldn't get my hands up in time to pinch my nose. <laughs> so I caught my sneeze in my hand, but I scooped up the lady's ponytail in front of me. <laughs> 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 